Mate, you look rough. Mm, it's not even funny. Where did you even go? You just disappeared. Fuck knows. Did a Houdini. Ran off. Again. I woke up on Brad's mum's floor this morning. You what? Completely naked, apart from a rubber ring. <laughs> you're fucking... No, you're joking. I'm not. Was Brad even there? I don't know. A rubber ring. A rubber ring. A fucking inflatable rubber ring. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And then I was on the shop floor this morning, I'm frozen, and a cam comes up to me asking me why there's no Volivons left. At five past ten, Volivons just wasn't in the mood, nah, and I felt... No, 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 you didn't. I felt the bar rising up in my throat. No, I just, I can't, I... Oh, God. I was like, I'm sorry, there isn't any, let me go in the back and check for you. As I was walking, I just knew, I just fucking knew it was... I vomed all over the loading bay. Oh, no, you did not. Is that why it's cornered off? Jesus fucking Christ. What, did you see his mum this morning? Nah, I woke up before anyone. The front door was locked, so I had to climb out the kitchen window and jump the back wall into the alley. <laughs> Naked? Nah, nah. I found my clothes. I think they were mine. And then I got an Uber on 1%. <laughs> Mate, Brad is going to be so pissed when he sees that you slept on his mum's floor again. Well, it's not my fault. I have nowhere else really else to go. Have you spoken to them? No, nah, there's nothing to speak about. I mean, you're going to have to do something, though. You can't keep showering here and then sleeping in your car. I've not really got a choice, have I? You can, uh... You could come and stay at mine if you want. I've got a couch. Really, mate? Yeah, of course. It's no problem. Ah, oh, that means a lot, thanks. No, you're not. Yeah. Mm.